Hi, my name is Stephen Pope and I'm my Amazon guy, uh, Amazon consultant, soup to nuts, Amazon agency services. In this video, I'm going to be talking about brand registry and how to add a user as a registered agent to your brand. This is important because if you ever want to file a trademark takedown or an infringement on Amazon, you got somebody selling your product you don't want them to sell, or somebody is using your brand name on a product that you don't sell and you don't want them to sell it, and you want to take down that listing, this is when that would come in handy. Uh, especially if you don't know how to file that infringement, you need to hire, you might need to hire a consultant like myself to become an authorized agent on your behalf. So you log into brandregistry.amazon.com. This assumes you have brands already registered um, and you've gone through that process. If you don't have your brand registry set up, go look at my other video on how to set up your brand registry. But if you do, go to brandregistry.amazon.com, click on help, click on brand registry roles, scroll to the bottom where it says contact us. I'm going fast. Um, and then in here, you're gonna go click update your brand profile, add uh, a, a new user. That'll pull up this page. So when you're contacting them, here's what you're gonna fill out. You're gonna hit update or add a new role. They've already filled that in. Just put the word add into the describe issue box, the word add into the add update or remove box, fill in the email address you wanna add. Uh, a quick note on this, you cannot have uh, yourself on multiple seller central accounts with, it, with an email and become an authorized registered user on, on another brand. So you do need to have a dedicated email for this to work. A little annoying, not sure why they don't have UI that works for that, but that is the case. Uh, put in the brand names you want them to pertain to. If you've got multiple brands on your account, do list them all out. Type in registered agent here, fill in your email address and your callback number and hit send. That usually takes about 24 hours, sometimes as long as 48 to get to go through. Uh, if they have an error or any issue with the email address, they will email and tell you as much, um, but it should typically go through. Now, if you are trying to file an infringement on Amazon, it is very helpful to have your brand registry in place. To go and fill out an infringement on Amazon, go to amazon.com slash report slash infringement. And you can, you can look at copyright issues or trademark issues, describe you know, what the concern is, uh, explain whether you purchased the item and somebody's like, you know, knocking you off or whatever it might be. List all of your patent slash trademark slash copyright info, whatever that might, might end up being. And then you can select the ASIN um, that you're trying to target. You can target multiple ASINs at the same time. You can target multiple sellers at the same time. Um, so fill that information in. Explain that you're a seller. Put your, your, your information and your contact info in um, and and it's basically a, a legal submission. So, so I recommend don't lie. <laughs> Goes without saying, I know, but, but you can get in trouble. <clears throat> and if you do successfully get another seller taken down, there are legal implications. Uh, they will know that you submitted uh, an infraction. They will get your email address <clears throat> and they may contact you <laughs> and it may lead to getting a, a legal notice or a lawyer letter. So be cautious if you are gonna submit an infringement report on Amazon. Um, I would use legal language uh, that has been reviewed by your legal team, uh, a lawyer or, or otherwise, um, an officer of the company. And, and if your company is telling you to file these, make sure you tell them how important it is to uh, be truthful and, and to file this out correctly because there are uh, implications that can come from this. So for example, let's say you take down a seller successfully and they, um, their business is hurt, but they sourced your material through illegal means. So you're a big distributor, you sell your product to three plus uh, distribution networks and they bought it from one of your distributors. You didn't know that, you didn't trace it. Um, they showed up on Amazon, you didn't want them to be there. Um, and you prevent, and, you, and you've got a policy that nobody else can sell on Amazon, but because one of your distributors gave them the product, they technically legally have the ability to sell it. They show up on Amazon, they're breaking your map policy or whatever it might be. Um, <clears throat> you can get them taken down, but their, their, their view and their legal right to uh, sell that product may, uh, <clears throat> may stand up in court. So just be cautious and careful when, when doing that. Um, and if they respond to you or send you a notice, um, act accordingly. 
So thank you for watching this video. If you need a consultant to help you guide through situations like this, whether it's brand registry, trademark infringement, patent infringement, um, or otherwise running your, your advertising or Amazon account, you can reach me, Stephen, at myamazonguy.com. We are a soup to nuts agency helping sellers on Amazon. You can also leave a question in the comments section. I will absolutely answer your question, typically very rapidly, if you look at the response rates of my other uh, YouTube comments. So I'm um, definitely here to help and happy to do so. Thanks for watching.